Saturday morning, and we are doing a rip. Oh no. And we are oh. doing our favorite activity eating a delicious breakfast that we made. I just kind of made it. Well, Shane was captioning a video, and I made hash browns and eggs. You've perfected them, though. Let's yeah. explain what goes into these bad boys. Okay. Our potatoes are like the square little hash browns with, um, well, before we put the potatoes in, I have to caramelize the onions. So we caramelize the onions. I'm so happy that you know how to do that. Then the hash browns. This is all new to me. Then <clears throat> I put in some chili powder, some salt. Uh, I let it cook for a really long time, garlic, get it right. nice and crispy. And then at the end, we put in minced garlic. Mm. Ooh, but it burns, so you have to put it at the end. We learned that when I put it in the beginning and then it charred. <laughs> it charred the entire time and we didn't know what to do. And then the egg, I think we've talked about this before. Eggs is the same thing basically. <laughs> the egg is caramelized onions first and then, but there's cottage cheese in the eggs, which I would never ever eat in any other context. Uh, there's cheddar cheese, like shredded, and milk, and then the onions, and some salt. And a little love. And a little bit, a lot of love. <laughs> and then we put Parmesan cheese. Yes, and then we put Parmesan cheese on the potatoes after they're done. So that's our breakfast. Yum. Yep. It's so yummy. This is how far away we had to part from the store. We'll show you why in a minute. <laughs> on the lines. Perfect spot. Okay. Thank you. So Shane and I couldn't take that last accessible parking yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah because someone decided to park their car on the lines, thinking that that would be an appropriate spot. We're inside now, almost freezing. My niece's car seat didn't work out. The straps couldn't be attached to it because it was too rickety, because it's like a two-piece thing. So we're here at Target looking for a car seat for our trip. I found the Easter candy. I feel like one of these would be fine. Just in the aisle of the plane. <laughs> this one looks comfy. That looks uh -huh. nice. You have entertainment too. I might get that just for at home. Well, this one is, is a deep too. Is it? How many? It's 13 and a half. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's... That too much. Did we look at that one? No. no. But how, how it's... deep is all down? Yeah, let's see what the... Same thing, they're all 24 inches. I don't know how your other one is 30. <laughs> Jesus. I know. Are you sure like the top's not? It's, really yeah. Like, it's against the back of That's the how it'll sit on the plane. Well, let's take this one down. That one seems heavier. heavier. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the baby's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we picked one out. We're going to buy it now. We're hoping it works. That was fun. We'll see. Took a while. We're going to dinner to celebrate Anna's niece's birthday. We're at Claire's where my niece is picking out some items. And then we're going to go to Build-A-Bear Bake Shop, which is a new thing here at the Mall of America, where you decorate a cupcake with your Build-A-Bear. Yeah. This is my in my ears pierced. There's some really nice earrings here. I don't know, a little no. flower gem. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't want that at on your top, ears. At the top. Not my blue. Your cartilage? You're not getting your cartilage? No, no, no. Up above. Right like here. I want it pierced right there. Yeah, it's cartilage. No, it's not. It is. Shame. I think it would look nice. Shane's having a lot of fun. I feel a lot lighter in an elevator going down. <laughs> I feel a lot more freedom of movement. Today when I was at the grocery store, Shane asked me to get him a special treat. So I picked out this microwavable cup uh, brownie, ready in four, Three minutes, one one minute it says. Um, so now I'm making it. It's 
see what we've got. Hmm. I think you'll like it. It looks soft. Yeah. Wait, it's gonna be magma. Not really, I might burn my tonsils out. I might burn my tonsils. You think so? You don't have to take it off. Does it seem hot? It seems like it has a pudding or jello consistency and not um, hot. a brownie consistency. Uh. It doesn't look like a brownie. Do you like it? Aw, well that's good. I'm renting our van for our trip to Florida. Ooh. Accessible? No, I figured we'd be done with a non-accessible van and just have you lift my chair in every time. But yeah, this is something that you know you may not have thought about. Uh, you being the viewer, not you being the owner. <laughs> if you fly somewhere with your wheelchair, you can't just rent any old car. You have to rent an accessible car. And the options that exist are severely limited. And expensive. And expensive. <laughs> you should add unlimited Wi-Fi. Nope. In our vehicle. Nope, don't it's need that. only $134. <laughs> That's a steal. That's like a year of Wi-Fi in your home. I know, right there, for nine, right for there. like seven days. Let's see. Car seats? Uh, no. Nope. Booster seats? Nope. I, I think that you can safely move on from that page. Lightweight baby stroller. Okay. You can rent a lightweight baby stroller for one, or a lightweight baby stroller for two. What do you think if you and me shared a stroller, and your mom pushed us around? It's a horror movie shot right there. You and me next to each other in a stroller. You should get, or you can add on a jazzy power wheelchair. That's cool. What? A jazzy? Is that a brand? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant no, like... No, just like a real jazzy. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. I'm getting the Hummer. It's just gonna be a minivan. That's boring. A side entry. I went for the side entry, not the rear entry. Yep. I don't like to do it from the rear. Shane. We are going to try out our new car seat today that we bought. Shane hasn't been in it yet. It looks like it might work. It looks, it's looking good. I mean, we spent a while at Target picking them out and measuring them and The hard part's gonna be whether we can attach my straps to it. Your straps, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out if there's a place for Shane's straps to go in and if they're long enough and all of that stuff. And if it's comfortable, if it can be fixed to be comfortable, a lot of stuff, but we have two weeks until we leave. Shane has his next Spinraza injection next week. It's like number eight, I think. Mm -hmm. I think we've lost count. Almost that in the double digits. Yeah. yeah. So that's exciting. He'll be nice and strong for Florida, which is good. Oh yeah. He's been feeling pretty good though. You haven't really felt a huge dip. We thought you were, and then you've been fine. I've uh, been pretty weak. <laughs> Actually, are you, yes? No. No. You're being terrible for the camera right now. I hope you know that. I'm working on a video right now. I have nothing to say. I'm just obsessed with our new camera and really want to talk to it. Hmm. I guess I'll go. What are you drinking? This is a new Belgium Trapel, suggested by beer enthusiast George Elward. Any more words about it? Let's ask the beer expert himself. It's a very crisp beer. A lot of beers are described that way, but don't taste that way. This actually does. Nice. It's actually quite nice. They're, they're copying what the monks do. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the off. story. I mean, that's the story. What do the monks do? <laughs> yeah, where will the monks do? They probably buy it from New Belgium. Uh, yeah. This is a, a replica, apparently, of the recipe that monks use. Uh. But the monks charge twice as much for their beer, so we go for the knockoff. <laughs> that is disgusting. Ugh. I don't get. Why do you, I mean. I was waiting for my popcorn to pop and I thought I'd have a banana. Now I'm gonna have them together. That's fine, but they don't mix very well. I've never had a problem mixing foods. Any foods? No, I'll eat anything together. If they serve dessert at the same time as dinner at restaurants, I'd be happy because then you can go back and forth. You'd prefer that the dessert was first. I'd prefer that the it? dessert came concurrently with the food. Concurrently? Mm -hmm. Truly, I would.
I am here in our apartment alone. I drove here today to go to school and to pick up two high calorie milkshakes for Shane. We went home yesterday to go to the mall with my niece and then stayed over and I just came to school. And then tonight we are dropping Shane's van off at the car repair place and the door is gonna be fixed. So we're really excited. So it's gonna be gone all tomorrow. We're staying at my parents' house because that's right near the car place. And yeah, so I'm just getting some supplies before I head to Minneapolis.